Have you heard of this saying, a bicycle built for two? What about a bicycle built for two billion? Before I even get started, I just want to let you know, I have Jamie here, who's an author of this book, his wife and two kids. The kids are two and four years old. I have a two-year-old and a four-year-old. I know exactly what's going on here. They're fighting over a car. All is good in the world, though, as soon as he gets it's it back. Early morning. It's early morning. <laughs> it's early morning, yeah, we and we promised them earlier. treats, and the treats are nowhere to be found so far. Okay, I get what's going on, and they'll calm down. Don't you worry. I'm I used to this. So, okay. First of all, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Jamie Bianchini. Y you have an incredible story. Thank you me. sort of fell on some, some hard times, some bad luck. Yeah. You decided, you know what, I'm going to go out on an adventure of a lifetime. What did you decide to do? I decided to take a two-seat tandem bike around the world and to invite strangers to come along in the back seat. Oh, nice. So, <laughs> <laughs> looking at Luca, because this is just exactly like my four year old. I mean, do it. So, you go on a two seater bike. Yep. Which countries did you hit up? Uh, I did an 81 country tour altogether. Wow. So, I invited strangers to come on the back. I rode with about a thousand different people. And the, the project was uh, with an intention to try to inspire people to get out and connect with their world. Now, you decided to let people ride on the empty seat on the back of your bike. Um, that must have been exciting, adventurous, but a little bit scary at times. It was scary at times. Uh, I had to put my, my trust in, in strangers often and, and trust that they were going to take care of me, and, and every single time they, they did. What was the hardest thing you encountered along the way? The hardest thing was being away from my family, being away from my community, uh, and, and feeling lonely. But right. I, I was always able to come back home. Back now, home. not only did you do this, and you've got a lot of stories to tell, including how you met your wife, which she actually jumped on the back of a bike, uh, your bike, and went for an adventure. We'll talk to her in just a moment. But um, you were able to do some incredible things along the way, using some of the business skills that you sure. learned right here in the States. What did you do? Um, I was able to start um, several charity organizations just uh, out of the passion that I had to, to help the people that were helping me. So we started a school for AIDS orphans in Uganda. Uh, we were able to uh, to bring water to a community in Bolivia wow. um, and uh, all sorts of just smaller grassroots projects that were able to be started while out on the bike. Fantastic. That's yeah. amazing. What made your adventure come to an end? I finally finished the trip around the world and uh, I ended up meeting my wife and my and, and my kids uh, and made a baby out, out on the bike, which was probably the happiest Not literally part. on the bike, yeah, I'm not, sure. Not but, <laughs> on the bike. but you so, get the yeah. point, I'm sure. Just, yeah. uh, <laughs> so in which country did you meet your wife and Christina? Uh, in Argentina. In Argentina. Yeah. Christina, come over here just for a second. Okay. I know you got Luca with you and that's totally fine. Um, talk about you. Uh, didn't your mother tell you not to jump on a strange man's bike? Oh, my mother told me a lot of things. But <laughs> But I, yeah, I decided to be a bad girl. So <laughs> she's not listening so to mom at yeah, this time. Yeah, so I accept. Uh, I accepted. Uh, you know his invitation. I was traveling, and he invited me to go with him. Was it bus. love at first sight? Um, kind of, kind of. Kind of. It was connection at first connection sight. Connection at first sight. Yeah. I like that. I like the way you put sure. that. Here's what we're going to do. I want to let you know where you can get the book. You guys are on a 12,000 mile tour with your family. Yeah. Yeah. And you're. <laughs> it's okay. Buddy, do you want to. Do you want to hold this? Do you want to hold this for I'm mama? Hold no, it's okay. Hey, I'm used to this. I am used to this. You know what? My kids, what works for them? Um, Altoids. They are bribed by breath mints. So I always carry a case of Altoids with me, and I have some inside in my bag. I wish I would have brought them out yeah, here. Yeah. Talk up really quick about the journey that you're on right now with the kids this with time. With the kids, with the kids. Um, usually they get a little better rest than we than we have. I we don't, are, we, don't you we apologize. We are on a 12,000 mile trip around the country promoting this book, A Bicycle Built for Two Billion, and we're stopping in 38 different places. San Diego is our third stop, uh, and uh, doing talks. We're talking tonight at the Pacific Beach Library and giving free family-friendly talks and inviting people to come out and see photos and stories and bring their kids and come out and, and really learn about our world in a way that they've never been able to, to learn about the world before. Fantastic. You keep up the good work. Thank you so much. The, next time it. you bring those Altoids, okay? I will. They bring work magic, treats, I promise. Yeah. Thank you. All right, where can folks find your book? Uh, on Amazon or at any bookshop. They just just go in and say, I want a, I want a bicycle built for $2 billion, and you can find it anywhere. Fantastic. Yeah. And you know what, this interview, it actually made me feel better because when <laughs> my kids do this in public, I think I'm all alone. You feel yeah, like yeah, this yeah. only happens to you. It doesn't happen to everybody. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you keep you. up the Thank good work so and stay safe. It.